Hey guys. Guys, sorry. Um so today was long. Um Okay, and you can probably tell in my eyes, like right under here. I don't know if you can see the coloration right now, but like you know how they're normally like kind of a purplish, bluish, whatever. I know in the photo right now it probably looks just like normal. But it's not. It's really like a much deeper <sighs> purple or blue right now. Um, so today was long because okay, school was fine, you know, whatever. Um, but I walked to track practice today. Come to find out, find out, a we only have a thirty-minute practice, and b the middle school has a meet that I have to work. I pretty much got suckered into working the middle school meet. That was fun. You know, actually the middle school meet was not that bad. I mean, this one guy named Carson, um, I want to say he was from Sevierville, threw 123 feet and 6 inches. I mean, that is the farthest I have ever seen anyone throw a disc, but... I don't know about you guys, but that is, like, insanely far. That is, like, Olympic far. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that, I was actually there from, like, four in the afternoon to, like, almost eight at night. <laughs> so that was interesting. Um, came home, stopped at Subway, because I had this coupon at any foot long for six bucks. So I used it. Um, half of it I ate tonight. Half of it I'm going to heat up in the morning and eat tomorrow because I eat egg sandwiches from there. It's not the only thing I eat from there, but it's a big part of what I have from there. Um, so, yeah. And then, okay, this guy at Subway. Like, I was saying, like, I got, like, this really bad grade on this trigonometry quiz. Because, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't understand it. But the fact that I literally have almost no short-term memory and he'll teach us a lesson then give us a quiz on it and I won't remember any of it at all. So, so that's why that happened. But I said, other than that, I'm really smart. And he said, ha, doesn't sound like it. You know, you look at me funny the first time. Because, I mean, as soon as I walked in, he looked at me and he looked at me like really weird. And that, that kind of ticked me off a little. He said that, he completely set me off. And then he said, yes, I would like some jalapenos on my sub. And I'm just like, that's not how you say it. It's jalapeno. There is an accent mark over the N. Learn how to speak. Well, I want to say English, but technically that's Spanish. But learn how to speak and enunciate and pronounce things. And actually learn the English language. I mean, obviously, jalapeno is um, a pepper that is Hispanic in nature. However, it is here. Therefore, I would, I guess you could say it is officially part of the English language. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you look it up in the dictionary, it'll um, have some kind of a result. Although, I am not sure. I never did look it up. But, uh, yeah. So, that... Not only did that one piss me off, that kind of pissed off mom, because I know we live in the South, but, um, hello, people of the Southern, U okay, let me phrase it, the Southeastern United States. You can talk like the rest of the world, just like me and my mom and my dad and everyone else, and actually be able to be understood if you actually tried. Ding, ding, there's the kicker. People here don't try, let alone care. Um, so yeah, and I don't know if that's just me noticing this now, or if that's like anyone that will ever watch this noticing this, but yeah, people in the southeastern United States don't care and don't try like okay this is going to be an example 
so I know a lot of people everywhere use the term like almost every other word. So the conversation will be something along the lines of, you know, he said, he was like this, and then I was like, and then they were like, and we were all like, and I was just like, that pisses me off almost more than anything. Because obviously the term like is not meant to be used as a noun. It is used to contrast things, such as the... I can't even think of a sentence now. Or, not just contrast things, but also give emotion, like... I know I, did, I, know I just said it, but something along the lines of, he liked the game. You know, showing an emotion. He liked it. You wouldn't say, he was like, and then I was like, and then we were both like. It's like, dude, speak English. Not this gibberish crap that you speak. Um, so, yeah, and then... I'm going to stop there on the whole like thing, because although I could go on for hours on that, but, um, yeah, after we got home, I ate, came in here, did homework, went and took a shower, and now I'm pretty much ready for bed. I just need to, well, actually, I just tra tracked my pack, I just packed my track bag for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I am excited and looking forward to it. So, um, anyway, I guess I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.